What is up, I'm Edford, and welcome back to the Tundra for another video. Old Mr. Stash Man is out there. He got here a little bit early. We should vandalize this truck. No, we're not gonna, we might vandalize this truck a little bit. Anyways though, yeah, welcome back to another exciting ice fishing video. Like I told you guys, we're doing something fun today. I told you guys this on the live feed, but we're doing something fun today. We're, we're targeting a new species of fish that I personally have not targeted through the ice this year. And honestly, I've barely caught any um, I caught one so far this year through the ice, and it was actually on porn stashes. Pulled that big, nasty, slaunchy, toothy pike critter. We're going after some pikes today. But wait till you guys see the bait that we are using today to catch those pikes. You know, pikes are vicious critters. They like giant baits. They like stupid, bright looking baits. And especially, they like live, fishy looking baits. Well, we can't use live bait at this lake right today. It's like the only lake in our, uh, our area where there's pike, and there's actually giant pike in here. We're actually mixing it up today. Joshua, the, the Mr. Mr. Porn Stashman went out and got some big ass smelt. So we have smelt. He's got some good pike on that so far this winter. So that's cool. But I went out and I got a bait that I've heard from a couple guys actually works. I've never caught fish on it before. Wieners! We're using wieners potentially uh, for pikes. These, these are like the cheapest, nastiest wieners that they had at the old Walmarts. I think it was a dollar for this eight pack. So that's how you know they're good. So yeah, we're using on tip ups and then we're gonna kind of compare it with the smelt to see if the smelt works better stash was out here this last week sometime he said a guy was using these guys on a tip up got his 80 pound leader bit clean off by a giant giant pike so i'm excited I, I'm, I'm genuinely excited for fishing today i'm always excited but today especially it's also very cold out here so i need to get bundled up and then let's head out to the stash man and we're gonna uh, dip our wieners inside of some holes Whee! well first step is finding Mr. Stash. I literally have no idea where the hell he's at. We're just gonna wing it. Follow these trails, I guess. Where's the fish? Ate him already? It's Stash. He's back. It, back for the first time, for the 80th time. I've already had 37 plus. 37? Yeah. I think I've had every bike in the lake already. What was the one you said? 60 inches? Uh, on the light side. Just a little one? Yeah. yeah. Well, that's good. I didn't really come to catch one that small, but I guess we can try for some bigger ones. <laughs> All right, so Joshua already had a flag on a smelt, which means the wieners should make it rain. All right, guys, we got the old tip up rigged up. So we got a couple split shots, and then I put this three-way swivel that a giant pike will probably mangle because it's a shithole from Walmart. Then we got about a foot of 80-pound leader line because them suckers got teeth. And then we got uh, a couple, a couple little treble guys. So we're gonna take our wiener. And you want to always pierce your wiener with two treble hook. Give it the old Prince Charles, says Stash. Deal. I don't know how to put this on here. We're going to go with a couple barbs in each. I mean, I think proper, proper hook placement is probably like one on that side and one on that side for optimal wiener balance underneath the ice. Look at that. It's just going to dangle down there. Cheers! Looks like we're about 11 or so-ish feet. Time to give him the ween. Good luck, Mr. Ween. I don't even know if hot dogs sink. I might need to put more weight on that. My wiener doesn't want to sink. We got a suspended ween pattern here. There he goes. I mean, if you were going to eat a wiener, how would you do it? You'd put it all the way down the throat. We already got wiener chasers coming up from the bottom. All right, Josh says if he had a wiener, which he doesn't, that he'd put it in his throat. So we're gonna go with that tactic. We deployed a couple weens. Oh God, my wax worms are dead as hell. Apparently you don't leave them in the car when it's freaking 62 below zero like last night. Anyways, we, I deployed a few weens on the old tip ups. Josh has got about 300 tip ups out with smelts. And I decided for the last few tip ups, I'm gonna catch some live bait or some cut bait. Well, I guess live bait if we're fishing for pikes. So there's actually a really big bluegill and crappie in here. And I'm gonna try to catch one with my cricket. Okay. We got a flag. Any spins? No cases of the spins. That's dead bait though, so. I definitely did spin. Definitely, definitely frozen solid. Yep. Well. Two flags, I'll take it. Some excitement. Some excitement. At least I'm getting a guy lark out, huh? I got one on. 
It's giant. Biggest crap in North America. Hey, at least one bit. They were being little dick holes. It's about an eight incher. You gonna put them on? You gonna put them on? Yeah. Don't let them die! <laughs> nice catch, Josh. Mr. Eight Inch Crappies going on to tip them up by Mr. Joshua. Let's see what he can catch. Maybe catch a couple more while we're at it. Are you shitting me? Is it spinning? Running away from Joshua and he has a flag. He says it's big. Coming! I'll hug him for you. Oh God, hell yeah, dude. Hey, About a one pounder. Ain't as big as I thought. It's hard to tell on the mono, but I mean, it's a good first fish. Hell yeah. Nice one, bud. Nice to work, dude. That's on the smelt. Yeah. <sighs> deeper water too. So now we got two bites shallow, one bite deep. And I'm marking them deep and with my jigging hook. I might need your help. That's down there. Low 30s, 31 or two probably. Yeah. Conservatively call it about a 70. Yeah. Oh, that's not bad. Good work. Uh, I got it. Sick. Nice surgery job, son. Yep. Kiddo. Got me well, bud. Well, not a big one, but good first fish. That's the biggest crappie I ever seen. <laughs> yeah. That's a pretty sweet crappie. All right, Timmy. All right. All right. Ultra rare catch. Ultra rare. I think that's an eel pout. Up, 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 up. Got one. Pout. Good starting place. There we go. Oh, it is crappies. I was starting to wonder what the hell we got going on down there. Turns out it's, uh, that's not a bad one, actually. We could keep that one. I think we will, at least for bait, if not for dinner. Meaty dude. Just move spots. Joshua's way over there. Yonder way, by all the tip-ups. I come over here to try to catch some panfish for bait, since I need a little bit more bait. I guess we need a little bit more bait. Josh is keeping on the tip-ups. I'm catching dinner. There's a flag. flag. I just said that. Is it going? Yeah. Got him. Tiny. I ran too far. Christ. It's a snake. It's a snake guy. Ha. Huh. Running in the snow sucks. <laughs> like I say, it's good for me and stuff. That's the panfish are going a mile away over there. there. I caught one crappie, but there's a bunch there. They're just, I had to move around a little bit. There's at least stuff happening. Okay. Definitely not the uh, giant. And that guy's on the smelt too, right? Yep. So. <laughs> well, no dice on the old hot dogs yet, but uh, Mr. Crappie is about to become bait because Joshua had my other crappie out that I caught earlier and it got freaking choked. Josh is an expert and he says, cut its stomach open, let some fluids out or something. I don't think he actually said that. And uh, yeah, that's a big ass crappie to be using as bait. I want to see what'll eat him. We're gonna do one hook up there, one hook back here in the meat. Down he goes. Crappie tip him up. It's been up for three years. Yeah, that crappie is not moving around. God dang it, dude. <laughs> He's not swimming around too much, is what you're saying. So. It's probably like, you think he's on there still, dude. Could be wrong. What the fuck? He's just chewing on him. Is it shallow over here?
Oh god, on the crap eye. That can't be small. Oh yeah. You bet. Oh, there's the crappie. There's the crappie. Hey, you got your bait back too. Yeah. Dude, he was just chilling down there with it. Dude, that's sick. That's why I'm trying to catch some more, man. We need to get them on all of these tip-ups. That's two big bites in the crappy. This is all thanks to uh, the dad over Dude, there. I'm, I'm the, the bait catcher. Putting in the grunt work. <laughs> the bike. Jesus. Dude, the bad thing is I've only caught two. Those things aren't even biting. Dude, he grabbed it. He was just chilling. Yeah. That's why, bite. like, when you went to pull it up, the thing just, like, just one. teetered over a little bit. I was like, eh. With this heavier bait, though, I thought it was maybe just heavier yeah. bait. But I still got my damn crappie, too. That's the most exciting part. He's fat. He's a little thicker one. He's been eating. He's, he's not as ugly as the rest of them. Sweet fish, man. Not a giant giant, but definitely a good one. I think the fish in the bite is pretty tough today. He's tagged, too. A little tiny one I caught the tag, too. Super rare. Tagged. Pike. Nope. Nope. I didn't think it was gonna happen. I could tell. I could just feel it. It wasn't gonna be a big pal. About a 52. Yeah, 52 pounder going back. <laughs> the one f pike probably came by and took my pole in while I ran over here. He wanted a dead stick. Whee! All right, we're back at the parking lot. Joshua's smelts apparently outfished the shit out of my wiener, so I didn't get any tip-up bites. And he did. What did we have, like five bites on the tip-ups? Really? Joshua had 39 bites on the tip-ups <laughs> on his dead smelt. So, the, the, the weens didn't get the job done this time. He's got to go to work, though. I'm, I'm, I need to catch something. I need something to pull on me besides the little crappie. Um, just... The weens just didn't didn't work on the tip ups today. I know they will work, so if you guys want to see me catch something on a wiener or, or use wieners specifically, no other lures in the future, leave a comment down below. I'm going to head to another lake. I'll see you guys there, and you'll have to say goodbye to the You're not going to see it for a long time, probably not until tomorrow. It's going to be very, very long. I'm not sorry. I can't help this love like mine. I can't stop with the love like mine I can't stop with the love